You know, you got to pick certain things that motivate you. The f number one motivating thing for me, and I'm just being honest, was I was sick and tired of being poor. I was just exhausted. My mother was poor, my father was poor, my brothers and sisters were poor. All my friends were poor, all my relatives were poor. I lived in a poor neighborhood, we lived in a poor house. I was just like, wow, man, I watch TV. And I would say, you know, like at Christmas time, my father would put us in the car and take us out to the suburbs to see the Christmas lights. And I would see these big houses, man, with lights all on them and they had horseshoe driveways where you just pull in and go all the way around. I, that was amazing to me. You know, we would pull up in the driveway, got a back out. You know, I've been doing that I told my father, I said, Dad, I said, why don't we get one of these houses? He said, boy, I ain't got no money for this kind of house. He said, but if you work hard, keep going to church like your mama say, you can make some money, you can buy you one of these houses. That was it. My motivation was to buy a big house so I could put up Christmas lights and, and, and drive in the driveway. But my advice is you have to find a dream that's so big that it overwhelms all of your fears and causes you to never give up. Now you're gonna think about quitting no matter what you do. I mean, I've thought about it many times, but I always just kept thinking about that house. And I've always dreamed of buying my mother and father a real house. And you know, and before they died, I was able to do all of that. Whatever it is you're trying to do, you must first determine if it is your gift. There's a difference between your passion and your gift. Your passion is something that you enjoy doing. Like I'm passionate about golf. I'm gifted at words. I'm gifted at that. So before you strike off into script writing, determine your gift. And don't pursue things that you're passionate about. Pursue the thing that you are gifted at. All of you are gifted. Every last one of you, God gave you a gift at birth, all of you. God never created a soul without giving him a gift. All of you have a gift. Your job is to discover the gift. It's very simple. It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift. Anything else you're doing, you're wasting your time. Discover the gift. So you should ask yourself first, is writing the gift? Is writing the gift? Now, the writing may not lead you to screenwriting or movies. It may lead you to books. But the first thing you need to do is writing your gift. If it's your passion, you're wasting your time. You're gonna write a book that don't nobody like but you. See, here's what happened to a lot of people in COVID. Myself, a lot of family members. COVID happened worldwide. It's the first time all of my friends overseas, I don't care how much money they make, all my guys from my hood, I don't care what they don't have, we all talk about the same thing. This pandemic is worldwide. So it didn't just happen to you. But sometimes what God does is he allows certain things to happen that will affect each of us differently. Now, instead of you whining about the COVID, which is worldwide, it ain't just happening to you. You got to seek out the blessing in it. it. Could be is you have to have a career change. You didn't care about your job. No way. It wasn't your dream job. It wasn't what you were to do the rest of your life. See, what people don't understand is when the door closes, all God is really saying to you is walk up the hall. The only door available. A door closes, could God be saying to you, walk up the hall? He got another door that's probably bigger and better that he wants you to go. What are you doing? The company closed. It's not opening back up. They furloughed you. They're not bringing you back. Go up the hall to the next door and quit tripping.